This is Alex at Capital Tech Solutions, here to show you how to navigate the WordPress admin dashboard. The WordPress admin area is where you can manage all your site content and settings. You'll see it referred to by different names, such as the admin dashboard, panel, WordPress backend, or just WordPress admin. As you add plugins to your site, the admin menu will fill up with links to these plugins. But today I want to focus on where some of WordPress's core features are. The top part of the admin lets you manage your user profile and easily switch between the front end of your site and your admin area. The left sidebar contains the majority of your WordPress features. Many of these items have submenus that you can view by hovering over or clicking on the item. Updates is an item under the dashboard menu. It lets you view and perform software updates for plugins, themes, and the WordPress core. When updates are needed, the menu item has this useful icon indicating how many updates are needed. Posts is where you can create, edit, and publish blog posts. You have the ability to view drafted and published posts separately, as well as to search by category and filter by keywords. Media is where you can manage the WordPress media library. It has all the media resources is within the website, including video, images, and even PDF. You can find media previously uploaded here or add new files. Pages is where you can create, edit, and publish your web pages. This includes your home page, contact page, blog landing page, and all other pages. Like the posts lists, it lets you filter by published status and search by keywords. The Appearance menu has several useful controls. Themes is where you can view and change the theme of your site. Menus lets you create navigation menus for your header, footer, and anywhere else on your site. You can create multiple menus, choose where menus appear on your site, and add pages, blog posts, and custom links to each menu. Plugins lets you view all the plugins you've installed for the site as well as add new plugins. You can search for free plugins from the WordPress repository or upload a purchased plugin. Users is where you can view, add, and manage your site users, including site admin. If you want to give a person access to edit your website, this is where you add them. Under the settings menu, General settings lets you change your site title and your admin email address, which is where you'll receive primary notifications about the website. The WordPress admin has many more features that I didn't cover, but these basics will help you feel familiar navigating the WordPress admin dashboard.